Hello, welcome to Off The Shelf Reviews, it's Gaming Friday. I'm Gary. And I'm gonna kick you in the ghoulies. And today we are taking a look at Haunting, starring Poltergeist, <laughs> which came out in 1993, developed and published by Electronic Arts. <laughs> Yeah. Back when Electronic Arts actually made games and didn't just yep. hire companies to make games for them. and Desert Strike and shit like that and fucking Road Rash. But they yeah. got so powerful from such great games that they had the <laughs> money to be able to just hand it out to people to yeah. make. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this game, of course, it came out on the Sega Mega Drive or the Genesis. Uh, and a port was actually released on the PlayStation, the PSP, uh, in 2006. Uh, yeah, I had it on the, uh, the Mega Drive collection for the PSP. That was cute. Very good. And so the story is that you play as Poltergeist, who is a rebellious punk teen who died in an accident with a defective skateboard, <laughs> which was manufactured and made by Vito Sardini. Yeah. Now, as a ghost, you are terrorizing his entire family for revenge. <laughs> You must scare Sardini and his family out of four houses yeah. in order to complete the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking hard. It is a hard game, actually. Yeah, I mean, I never I never made it past the second house. Right. Um, and so I never managed to complete this game. Uh, I always ended up running around in the basement, you know, in the, uh, the other world, because I kept running out of... Uh, ectoplasmic ectoplasmic energy. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, no. A, right, okay. So you got your special spin attack, which I don't really know. Uh, B? Is it B? No, X. It is. Ah, oh, she fucking... I scared her off. No. Come on. Go right. You're trying right. to do a super scare. I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm trying to remember the, uh, the controls for the buttons, because you got the... I think the Y button... No, there we go. X, X makes me go. So I've just taken over this rug. Yeah. And now if I, as I pop out the rug, it will go into a bit of an animation in a minute. Well, the there are there are three different types of frightums. Frightums, eh? Which is what the game calls them. And they you basically trigger objects for the jump scares. Yeah. You've got blue, orange, and green frightums. <sighs> you can see the, the little sort of yeah. blue highlight there. So the blue one, that works automatically. If you're in the blue one... There we go. I just made the claw come out of the rug. It, yeah, it triggers by itself the moment a family member is near it. Yeah. The orange ones, you have to manually trigger them. Ah. So once you're in the orange one, you have to press a button to trigger it and time it right. Yeah. So, yeah, you've just turned the uh, the CD player or the tape player. Yeah, and I just made a ghoul come out there. But I'm running out yeah. of ectoplasm. You can see the green hell for the bomb. That kind of runs down. Yes. And then yeah. you end up in the, in the basement, like Gary said, where you have to... Kind of get, get restore your ectoplasm. Back. The the there other types of frightums are the green ones, and that is where you literally take control over the object and get to move it around. Yeah, there's like, like mini chainsaws and stuff mini around. Mini chainsaws. There. There's like toy planes that you can fly around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this this kind of just refills back up your health. So yeah, at first when I first played this game, I always found this really annoying that I would come here. Yeah. Um, but then I, I realized that I needed to uh, X to jump up. Yeah. Yeah. To get my health back up, so mm. I could last longer actually in the real world. That's right. Yeah. And your, your ecto energy bar gradually just depletes over time. Yeah. Um, scaring family members out of a room. Also, also replenishes your ecto uh, meter. Yeah, but it's such a fucking pain in the ass because if the camera's at a certain, or if, if if you're at a certain angle and the droplet drops down and you don't see it and your health's running down and you're trying to get it, it just can be yeah. really awkward to get it. Yeah, so yeah. You've got to, you've got to, you've got to be aware. I mean, like this isn't one of those really easy type pick up and play type games. You've got to kind of know. Well, it, it, what it you're kind doing. of is if you just want a funny kind of 20 minutes, you know, just try and scare some people. Oh, yeah, but yeah. you've you got to know what you're doing in those 20 minutes. Yes, yeah, you do. You need to hit the right combination of frightums yeah. and the right character to, to, to scare them away. Yeah, so I've just made it out of the basement now. I've got, yeah. I've got the health. So you've got so a full bar now. now. I've got a full bar now. So I've just pressed X. Mimi is stood on the mat. I pressed it. Jump pop back out, but I've got to wait for it to there activate again. There we go, make the So her fear level is now high. Yeah, so she's probably going to make a run for it soon. She's going to freak out pretty soon, yeah. She is. Her toys you, are coming to life. you got to try and work out where the front door is. So the front door is all the way up there. So Mimi is the M. So she's yeah. in her bedroom, and she'll probably go running out into the, the corridor. Yeah. And you'll have to scare her out of the corridor, into the front room, into another room, and then all the way out. And then you've got to go back and get all the other three. Yeah, <laughs> she's she's all, right, so yeah, she's very scared now. Oh, Once she that. hits very, she's out. She's she's Oh, get the you get the 
ectoplasm. So yeah, once you scare them out of a room, you get enough ectoplasm or just enough to keep going. Yeah, so where did she go? She has Next gone she went the other into way. the kitchen, uh, into the uh, yeah. gar garage. Is it the garage? No, it's the front room. You remember, this is an incredibly wealthy family. Yeah, and there, <laughs> and there is there is another front door there. So, oh, there she is. So, you can actually, there are two exits in the house. So, if you're lucky, you can get them out. The get them out. Rawr, 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 <laughs> the dog, the dog teeth. So, she's very scared again. Yeah, she's I'm gonna... just going to try, you got to try and just kind of freak out as she's many leaving, objects think, as yeah. you can. Bye, Mimi. <laughs> yeah fucking bitch did right. she drop in the yeah there it is it. yeah so when you like i said when the ectoplasm drops you're like God where, sake, is, where it? Is, is it hiding it? behind something i need me to help but you you don't die per se no. i don't think you actually properly game over unless you unless you die in the basement yeah yeah um right that's a which the basement one. gets uh, gets a little bit trickier Bam, every time as well in plates <laughs> yes i freaked the fuck out. <laughs> there's a chair moving i'll make this chair move just get all the different chairs moving and yeah you just want to try and interact with as many objects as you can to keep yeah. as many of the people go even when even though you might yeah hey, i'm a spaceship <laughs> you know even i think there's another button you can press you can actually shoot as well yeah. like <laughs> yeah i was too busy trying to ram it into her head <laughs> um right she's not completely she's scared but she's not scared scared yet oh look at oh, the knife. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yes yes i always love the different types of animation that you could that, yeah that that's the that's the for me that is the reason to love this game yeah it's the only real attraction i ever have to this game is is all the different animations and all the different things you can interact with yeah because it doesn't for me there's not too much game here not really no well i mean like i said there is if there is if you know if you know what you're doing oh, oh mr oh, fucking oh, yeah, i was too excited to get after her um is that obviously tactically you are trying to get them out the out the front door so you need to move them this way and then when but the, you don't really get to move them they they run out whichever way they want to yeah no i, I get I, yeah i get that you you obviously you will get annoyed if you if she like if she goes running up into that door she could have easily just run up into that door but that's but what if she'd run back into the kitchen <laughs> yeah like, well, yeah <laughs> but i i you know once you get there like i don't like one droplet one droplet game you know i know you drop me more um <laughs> in there. I'll get the I'll get the sun first. Right. Is um, is, yeah. You want to scare as much of them in that room before they run yeah. out. Yeah. So that they are actually wanting to get out of the uh, get out of the house. Because if you only do a little few things and then they leave, they'll move into the next room and you're like, oh for God's sake, no, go out. Yeah. But I never yeah. like you. I never got past um. Oh, Timmy's down this way. I never got past. Um, the second one because I, I suppose I never really had time to really keep going to see how far I can go, yeah. how far I could go so you know maybe when you got into um, other houses maybe they would get harder to try and scare out yeah, right. yeah. so you know he's yeah, I mean, yeah, in, in the later houses, you do need to scare them more. They have, you know, more more of a horror threshold, I guess, to yeah. being frightened by you because of everything that's already happened to them. But still, you know, each of the houses has more uh, more interactable objects and more more animations, which is what keeps it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> crazy eyes, crazy eyes, Timmy, crazy eyes. Uh, how, how scared are you now? Oh, oh Tony, sorry, I, I was calling you Timmy. <laughs> you look like a Timmy, but uh, obviously your family is like an Italian-based fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah. Oh right, okay. I just don't understand how Polter guy, you know, in the in the opening logo, he's got this crazy funky hair. Yeah. Yet now he just looks really bold. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, is he supposed to have the same hair? Is it? Yeah, he's supposed to. It's kind of like a greaser kind of fifty star. Well, wasn't he was it? he was a punk, you know. Yeah. But, but I, I I I see him because of the way his hair quiffs in in in, in this <laughs> moment. It looks like he's a greaser. Right. Okay. So you're going Too left to scare here. Out the house. Yeah. I'm gonna go up this way. Right. <laughs> where are you? Where are you, little bastard? There you are. <laughs> Make a black hole. Is this the black hole? Oh, it's the lava, the lava pit. pit. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna the see. floor is lava. The man. floor is lava. I'm going to see if I can get the darts. Can I get the darts? You have to get the... <laughs> he's gone. Oh, he's gone. You you do have to get it kind of at a certain angle. And it's it's weird how obviously the, the house is designed. Yeah. That you have to obviously be at a certain angle. So I never got to... Did you know this game actually has an end boss? 
No. The uh, the the family has a pet dog. I think it's like a pet chihuahua. Right. There's actually a demonic spirit inside of it, oh. which is actually the end boss. Really? Oh my yeah. god, that's quite interesting. Yeah. I got... But yeah, I've never actually played it myself. I've only only seen it. Ah. It's just like, oh, it's kind so, of different. I mean, how do you when you saw him defeating it? I, I mean, didn't see. I just saw the transformation, and it was just like boss mode. I was, oh, like, I was oh, gonna okay. say because yeah, you'd have to what interact with other objects. And... Yeah, and throw stuff at it and. <laughs> oh, weird. Right, okay. Where have you gone, Timmy? Tony, sorry. Tony. A little T. Oh, look at the nun. Let's see if I can get the nun. Hup. Yep. <laughs> just watch but... her open her top and flash her tits through the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... That's pretty scary. Yeah, Timmy would be like, All right, I'm not leaving. I'm... Dad, I don't want to sleep in the front room from now on. <laughs> We all want to sleep in the front room, Tony. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that could be the point where people would get quite bored with the game is if you kept getting people going into the same room yeah. and pulling off just the same, same animations yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. But like you said, there's no real control over... Is he gone? He is gone. He's he gone. is out of here. Right. I am not going to have enough ectoplasm to get... No. To the dad, I reckon. drop some, but yeah. Yeah, it's just, like I said, it's the weird angle. Like, like you can... He's hiding behind the furniture. Just little, that little bit grey of wall there that I was just stood in front. You know, you just see a droplet drop in front of it. Yeah. If you're at another end of the room, the computer doesn't... The, the game doesn't actually drop it near you. It'll just drop it randomly. Right. Yeah. Now, when you're in the underworld, there's supposed to, you're supposed to be able to get, like, spells or, or other abilities that you can use when you come back into the house. Yeah, I... I, I always saw saw some kind of thing because there's the, there's that super bar isn't it yeah like super yeah, scare super and scare. boo boo yeah um, and I, I I never actually worked out how those are oh okay I'm throwing bombs now yeah. oh well I've never thrown bombs before yeah. so you, you do have your own abilities as well yeah yeah I was too busy <laughs> trying to interact with shit so there's a lot going yeah. on in this game if there you can is, pay yeah. attention yeah <laughs> uh, yeah so those are the red ones I think I, that's yeah for the the health when you obviously with the bomb stuff because I yeah. might have depleted all but you that. But can can you die down here? Can the uh, the environment get you? Yeah, like the arms can reach out for you and um, the bats can fly into you. And if you look at that little green skull down in the bottom, I'm I looking at that like the Wolfenstein kind of. Yeah, I think <laughs> that changes over time of after of so many hits, but it takes a lot of hits. Yeah. And then and then he I think he just oh like that like that the skull's coming out. Like he'll spin around on the spot and then it'll yeah. just end. But you just end up going back to the house, you know, the and Oh motherfucker. Oh. Yeah motherfucker and again, and again yeah. get that big one. Um, yeah, it looks like the image is actually draining from the top to down to the bottom. Like yeah. I just kind of want you to experiment and like kill these I'm, just kill these <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> How can you kill what is already dead? Um, but then, yeah, when you when you go, you just have to restart the level again. So the family are all in the house again. And if you say you've got rid of two or three, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, yeah the image is shrinking. Yeah, I know. I just, I'm so, okay. trying to avoid... Experiment complete. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to avoid all that, but those arms are getting tougher. There's four. Look at them there. Yeah, they're waiting. Poised. <laughs> oh. Go on out of there. Let's get out of there. Um, yeah, when the level restarts, if you've got rid of three family members and there's only one left, you have to start all over again. Yeah, yeah. Um, but else, what else were you going to do back in the 90s, you know? Yeah, and there wasn't yeah. anything else to do. It was a choice between this and fucking Desert Strike. <laughs> well, it's yeah. just, again, you know, this just didn't feel very gamey. I mean, there, there, there is some strategy to it. Yeah. But it just didn't really feel like a full game, you know? It, you know, it's a it's a game where yeah, you you know you have your objective of scaring the family out of the house, and there's four ish levels. Yeah. But there wasn't too much to it. Yeah, you know, it was ho horror nods. You know, all the different horror. Yeah, nods. yeah. That's... You know, it, it's the type of game that you play if you were a Poltergeist fan. You're yeah, like, oh, yeah. Man, Flipping it, chainsaw. And... Yeah, there's no Poltergeist type games out there. Then you'd probably play this. I'm yeah. Take the chainsaw up. Well, I... believe it or not, there was uh, another game, a uh, similar game called Ghost Master. Which was released in two thousand and three. Ghost Master. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was the uh, the Gravenville Chronicles, which came out on the original Xbox and the PlayStation Two. Right. And that was really quite strategic. You had multiple ghouls okay. in the house, <laughs> Drop this and so you'd be telling the ghoul in one room to rattle the chains. Yeah. You know, you'd have you'd have multiple floors of the house, and you'd be sort of moving the camera around to all the different floors to oh. you know the multiple people in the house that you were trying to scare so out. So kind of like an overlord. 
Lord Poulter guy yes, where you're taking yes, control yeah, yeah, yeah. of. Ah, uh, which it, you know, it, it's quite fun, but also quite dated now. But there was a lot more gameplay to it. Yeah, uh, it was basically just really kind of fleshed out what was designed in this game, uh, which you know it's quite fun. But at the same time, it's just the appeal of playing that sort of game. It does just as great as the animations are. It's not it's not a game that you want to keep coming back and playing. I can understand the cult status of, of games like that. Yeah, I, I think it's, like I said, I think it's more the concept of, of looking at it for the time, you yeah, know? Like, yeah. like your parents weren't Yeah, I mean, gonna... there was no other games like it. Yeah, but your parents, you know, your parents are very stingy on buying you violent-esque games. Um, you know, your Mortal Kombat, your fucking, uh, your Dooms and stuff like that. So then you would just convince them to get you something like this. I mean, um, uh, like I played this on the Mega Drive, but did yeah, it come same, out? Yeah. Uh, did, did you say it was, did it come out on anything else, like the Amiga or anything like that before? No. no. Right, so yeah, so it was... It was just on those types of consoles, and and yeah, after a while of getting sick and tired of playing Sonic, you know, <laughs> yeah. you'd be like, no, fuck it, at least, you know, at least, at least, at least with this game, it's not so traumatic when you lose <laughs> stuff. No, you know, you're not just gonna lose fifty gold rings that you've been trying desperately to keep hold of, so you can get the fucking chaos emeralds and lose it all and be like, god damn it, where this guy, it's just like, now nah, I'm just gonna make these candles scare you. <laughs> out of your skin go on run you little bass go on run no you're not gonna run okay he's need... getting there he's getting there i'm gonna follow him i reckon he's now oh, why would you go that way that's... Well, he's at very high but now yeah but that's not the way to the he could have gone in the other door that would have yeah. gone into the other living room all right can i get the kung fu guys because i like the kung fu guys <laughs> ah, i got the shark <laughs> Don't freak out! No, he's no, freaking he's out. freaking out. I need the like uh, angle where the globs will be. Where the, right yeah. all the way? Do you see it? Yeah. The fucking off the frame. I mean, do, I'm now wondering: Do they lock on to like the scare thing that you scared him with? The last thing you scared we'll him with. Drop in that vicinity. Of, yeah, yeah. yeah, it could be. So, right, why would you go here, you little fuck stain? <laughs> you know, the fucking doors over there. Okay, yo, know, pew pew. Yeah, he's not leaving this house. No, he is <laughs> not gonna get kicked out, is he? Would you consider this the first kind of Resident Evil? <laughs> Whoa, what was that? That was a scary head thing. Why is that there? Oh, shit, it's attacking me. Fuck, <laughs> fucking hell. So there are demonic entities yeah. after you, yeah. I have never seen that before. That's the first time I've seen that. This is, is, uh, is more like Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, now that would be great. They should remake scare this. Scare the family out of the house. Yeah, I mean, remake this into a Beetlejuice game. <laughs> and he does kind of weirdly have kind of a, yeah. a Beetlejuice look about him. Other yeah. than, but obviously without being able to afford that it's just like oh we'll just give him spiky <laughs> hair brr, 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 brr. I'm going to run out of health again if this motherfucker don't yeah. get out of the house he always seemed the toughest one to scare the points as well on the sofa. I mean the point system is that just to get yourself on a on it's a just a high scoreboard high yeah. scoreboard yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I believe you See can uh, you can play this game two player Ah. Um, but it's basically one person plays it until you run out of ectometer. Yeah. And then the next person plays, and so basically you two people both compete to get the high score. Mm. So that that's all you would be doing. Hey, get back here, <laughs> you imps! I'm just warming up. Go ahead and run. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I'm right behind your sorry butts. You know, Ooh. we're selling this to kids, so we oh, can't yeah. say you motherfuckers. Don't <laughs> but uh, you know, guess I shook him up a little, huh? Dude, the slime balls deserve it. Well, he was responsible in a way for your death. So. Yeah, but you're just kind of just, you know, going after this family now. I mean, why hate the children? Yeah, association. <laughs> yeah. He's a ghost, you know. I mean, like, I mean, look, he's got his own removal van. He does. They're just moving into They're another house. into a nice new home. Oh man, imagine <laughs> if you had to fight like Tangina at the end. Oh, I <laughs> ran out of health. So I'm, I don't know who the here. family are from uh, the uh, the Sinister movies or the... Um, <laughs> okay. What's the other horror film series? Is it Insidious? Insidious, Insidious. yeah. Oh, get, oh, you fuckers. Yeah. Okay, watch out for the steam. Oh, like these bits, I'd... I'd so yeah, your health bar is kind of... I guess I'm saying health bar. Your portrait picture has kind of stayed the same uh, from the no, last no. house. Ooh, fuck. Yeah. So that yeah. is the same health bar throughout all four houses, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And it just doesn't tell you how many lives you have. But I always... I think it's... I don't think you have any. I think you have one life and that's it. Yeah, tr yeah, tr yeah, true. But it's... It's like just coming down here. I suppose these are probably the most... The challenging parts. Yeah, the most yeah. taxing challenging 
challenging parts of the whole game is trying to get through here without, without taking damage too yeah. much damage because in the other world you don't have to worry about that the green bar goes down and you come here but yeah that i suppose that's what puts the tension in because you're like oh those spell out letters yeah oh i don't know what for though uh, I, I think each one is a different spell or ability Oh, watch out for toes, get that one, and is that the hole? Yes, back good. in the hole. <laughs> All of his little dance, <laughs> his little te taunting. Right, where are you, little bastards? Uh, right. Oh, <laughs> Mimi's here, so let's get the guy on the TV. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. No. Nope. Yeah, I accidentally just did my spin attack. So what's the guy on the TV going to do? Did I pick up any nope. spells? <laughs> oh, dog oh, you off. got Ecto oh, Extra. Ecto Extra, what does that do? <laughs> Just, oh, okay. Maybe I'll press the wrong button. Or... to do some well, welcome to prime time, bitch. Kind of moment. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's just popped out of the chair. Like, ah. Oh, shit. The so fucking... there's the dog. There's the dog. Right, okay. So I need a, uh, can I can I get my spells up? No. There we go. Get the dog, dog off. off. <laughs> oh, he's, he's already buggered off. All right. Yeah. Fuck you then, dog. Oh, whoa. Okay, I've just made dog food appear. I've played this game many a times and I'm still so, learning new yeah. things with this I haven't game. seen this game in so <laughs> yeah, long. Yeah, I'm like, what's the dog food do? Um, Mimi's left into the frigging yeah. corridor. That pain in the ass. Right, where are you? There you are. Get the ship. I get the ship. So do you have a favourite paranormal activity, Filmian? <laughs> Certainly not paranormal fucking activity, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I th I think the best one, I, I, I suppose, has always been Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, th especially the first one. I, I I really do like the second one, but the first one really sets the, yeah. sets the cue. Um, yeah. And I, I think... And again, I, I know that there are scarier movies out there, yeah. but the family element in, in um, Poltergeist 1, along with the acting, works really, really well, where everything after that just kind of seemed to be trying to rehash what they had secured in the first one. Yeah. Maybe that's why I take it so personally with the second and third movie of that series and the remake, where I'm like, you've ruined it, you fucking ruined it, you, yeah. you, you, this is not a good good idea shouldn't have become a franchise <laughs> yeah but then again i mean you know, we would never have got those great lines from from pot guys too yeah car car angry <laughs> you know? taylor taylor <laughs> you know god is in his holy temple <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like Paul Guys too quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's the um, you know the uh, H.I. Geiger monster that he vomits up the tequila <laughs> worm. Yes, no, in the uh, the braces in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> so many freaky moments. And it's just such a just a, a a terrible ending to that film. Yeah, you know if that if the ending to the first one, uh, the ending of the second film was was better. We remembered so much well, so much better than what it is. Yeah, before you get to the. A horrible third one. God is in his holy temple. God <laughs> is in his holy temple. That's a crap song. <laughs> <laughs> Lyrics aren't very good. Yeah, need a bit no, of work. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I missed the ectoplasm on there. <laughs> what, 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 uh, yeah, so Paul Guys 2 is your. Paul Guys 1 and 2, two yeah, yeah. is your favourites. I mean, yeah. like I said, the paranormal activity movies are fucking. I like the first one. The first one was great, great concept, done very well. Oh man, you I know, on a budget, they did. You know, it was masterful work. Is I, I kind of, you know, I sat there watching it in the cinema. I'm like, man, I could have done this. Like, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's kind of like one of those. Like, why didn't I think of that and just do that? Yeah, I know, but it's, it's still an well. hour and a half of trying to watch a door move slowly. But well, that's that's kind of what ghost chasers do, though, don't they? You yeah, know? spend an hour and a half watching a door move slowly. It's like the guy in Paul Geist one where before he goes into the room of. You know, and he's just like, yeah, we once tracked this car that moved over what, how many days? Yeah, yeah I get that. <laughs> but it's also the fact of like, in ah, oh, fucking motherfucker. And, you know, in the first Paul Guys movie, they stay in the house because they need to get Carol Ann back. Yeah. Why did the fan, why did two people stay in paranormal activity in the house? Oh, because she didn't want to leave. Let's just have one more night. Yeah. But she was also under the influence, under the influence of this malevolent spirit that we didn't know because yeah. we needed to go through four movies to realise that the family were attacked yeah. by Especially this. Especially after the Ouija board set fire. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> would have been a big fucking symbol. Yeah. 
let's get the fuck out of here, you know? <laughs> See, I've played with Ouija boards, Ian, and nothing ever fucking happens. No. If the Ouija board sets on fire, that's it. That's, a big, that's a big fucking <laughs> sign, isn't it's it? It's more of a sign, you know, the Ouija board moving its pieces, like, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Pazuzu, is that you? Yeah, Paz <laughs> <laughs> Pazuzu, is that you? <laughs> Sounds like a fucking Scooby-Doo. Like, yeah, Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> we shouldn't laugh. It's a very serious situation, the paranormal activity stuff, and we feel really oh, yeah. sorry for what the family went through. It was a troubling, <laughs> troubling time. So, Ian, do you recommend this game? I, d I do recommend para uh, paranormal activity. <laughs> fucking man. Almost got you. I, do, I do recommend haunting. the haunting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, don't... Um, don't look at it as a, as a big, massive, huge strain of a game to get through. It is, like Gary said, it is 20 minutes of having a laugh, having fun. You know, you'll probably be able to knock it out really quickly if you do play it all the way through. I think you can complete the game in about an hour or so. Yeah, yeah. something like that. If you, like I said, as long if as you, you don't die. If you yeah. know what you're doing and you don't die and all that kind of stuff. The animations are really, really fun. You know, I do like the interactions with the family, but they can get fucking annoying when they just won't go out the front door. Yeah. And you do end up after a while realizing that you are just repeat and rinse. Yeah. You know, how many repeat times can I get yeah. this boat ship to. Yeah, to do scare it. them out. I mean, light the candles, set the CD player. Yeah, maybe they thought about putting a difficulty in where, you know, things would not be able to be interacted with after a while, but then maybe it became such a pain in the ass that they had to leave that. I don't know. Yeah. You know, like I said, there are some things in the game that I've seen new today. The dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The special powers and all that kind of stuff. But then again, it's this, like I said, it, it does just. Scare yeah. them out of the house and oh, I'm back to the fucking prime time <laughs> bird scene. Yeah, I mean, I, I do recommend the game. It is, it is fun, but only in a limited dose. For me, this is pushing all the nostalgia buttons of you know remembering some of my favourite Sega Mega Drive games. And I understand this game and its cult cult following. It's very much deserved. Uh, it's a very memorable game. Uh, it's a very memorable experience. But yeah. It's, it's not enough and that's why i would say you know there is you know the ghost master game as well which kind of developed this concept and and took it a little bit further yeah uh but other than that this is yeah it's a fun nostalgia game that's uh, it's definitely worth worth a look at and definitely high on the list of of, of sega mega drive sega genesis games yeah 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 definitely one of electronics arcs more fucking successful franchises well i wasn't well no well, <laughs> yeah, i mean i want to say road rash i want to play road rash now <laughs> I'm gonna play Desert Strike now. Coming up next Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, we will be back next Friday looking at another video game. Of course, new film reviews on Thursdays. So you can find us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Patreon. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. I'm just gonna stay in the basement here. <laughs> oh, hands run! <laughs>